I've known Woody for a long time. He was a good NBA coach. Wanted to get back in the game. He wanted to be a head coach again. Saw his alma mater needed it, as we we talked about this, Jay. Yes. That IU is not what IU used to be. It just doesn't have the same cachet. They've gone through coach after coach trying to figure it out. They wanted Brad Stevens. He said no thanks. Clearly, Steve Alford still doesn't want it, right? Like, clearly Which anybody is, else yeah, you go exactly. to. Now, Steve Alford wants it. Does he? He just they don't can't want have it. <laughs> is that why, what it is? Why, why do you think him? he can't Steve have Alford it, Alford would walk there from Reno. Why do you think he can't have it? Why do you think they will I don't think he, you know, I think there's a segment of the Indiana community that obviously is either rubbed the wrong way. I don't know if it's what happened at Iowa. Uh-huh. You know, Steve's a great guy. He's been very, very nice to me. But it, there, there's people that feel like he rubs, the, you know, he's a little bit aloof. Uh, which is crazy because I mean he was obviously the golden boy. So. See, this is crazy for myself. My my wife is from Carmel, Indiana, and she went to IU. Her brother went to IU. Her dad went to IU. All I hear about is IU all the time, and it's only misery for me considering my last college basketball game I lost was to IU. Mm. Right? Like it just works out that way. Yeah. But I mean, I, you I know did for it to fact, yourself. Yeah, I know. Wow. But they were just <laughs> <laughs> God. I love you, Seth. I miss you so much. <laughs> But, like, it, it, it almost, like, I'm indifferent about Mike Woodson. I know he's a good coach. It's interesting Thad Mata will become his associate head coach or assistant uh, coming over from Ohio State, which is interesting how that works out. Big Ten, right? Yeah. But I know my father-in-law is not, not excited about this because well, they were looking for the, 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 the pop, right? They were looking for somebody to everybody come in. Everybody always wants the next young coach or the headline coach. Now, Mike Woodson's 63 years old, but I've known him personally for a long time. He's, he doesn't, he's not an old guy. You know how some people, you just see them and you're like, wow, he's a little frail. Woody's not like that at all. His personality is still very bold and, and a very big personality, uh, a confident guy. He's a six-year deal, though, a six-year deal. So, Seth, what, what, is, what are the challenges for Mike Woodson who's really all of his coaching experience has been in the NBA as a head coach, as an assistant coach with the Clippers a long time. He was with the Knicks this year as an assistant. His best years really were coaching the Knicks, uh, also coaching the Hawks. A lot of development in his background as well, and he knows the modern game. But but what would be the challenges then? Like, like Jay just said, there isn't a lot of excitement about this hire, but he is an alum. He does come in there with he cares a lot, and he's got the NBA connection. Well, first of all, 63 years old, he's a spring chicken. Come on, what do you, what do you think? You're over 63 and, like, all of a sudden you're frail and falling apart? I mean, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm over 63. I can I tell you it. that much. You're walking 15 miles now. a day with Jake the Wonder Dog. Exactly you're right. killing me right here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Woody, you're 63. You're over the hill. Forget about it. Get out of here. Come on, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> happy pre-birthday next month, Seth. Just want to say yeah, that. Thank there you, brother. You uh, a couple things. Number one, Thad Mott is going to be his associate AD for basketball. He's actually not oh, going to be right. coaching. But right. he, what, what he's going to be, Jay Will, is he's going to be a voice. He's going to be a voice that understands the business of college basketball. And he needs that. I think the interesting thing is they finally have a connection to Coach Knight. Like, if you think about it, uh, for years and years and years after Coach Knight was let go, they didn't want to have anything to do with anyone from Coach Knight's legacy. And now all of a sudden they do because Woody is a reflection of the best of the best of those Indiana years. He's a former NBA coach, which has NBA pedigree, which makes him give him cachet in recruiting. He needs a coaching is going to be a piece of cake. I mean, he, he's a world class coach. Agreed. And that's just the way it is. He's a world class teacher. Now, what is he going to need to do? He's going to need to put together a staff. Now, you see, Juwan Howard had an advantage. His sons were high-level players. His sons were recruited. He understands the culture of grassroots basketball. Woody's going to have to have a staff that will be able to connect him with the, basically not the underbelly, but what they, what creates college basketball, and that is obviously recruiting. So he needs to hire the right staff. He needs to hire probably, I think he'll over to, uh, hire a former uh, or current NBA skills guy to do player development. I think that would be a smart move. I, th- I thought Juwan did a great job. I think he'll hire a former coach uh, that has ties to Indiana. Uh, that will help him continue to navigate, you know, basically the culture of college basketball and what it's all about. But in terms of coaching, he'll be – I mean, the guy's a terrific coach. The last thing he'll have to do is he'll have to shorten those sport coats a little bit. Yeah, really he'll have to get up to uh, 2021. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this. Seth, he does have a secret weapon now. And that, that secret weapon is coming from the Knicks organization, and his name is World Wide West. Correct. And it's something that a lot of people need to recognize. We said, you know, one of the biggest acquisitions for the Knicks when they did this rehaul was World Wide West. And people are like, who's, who's World Wide West? Who's this guy? Like, he's been somebody that's been an absolute superstar 
in that region of the underbelly of sports for a very long time. In the shadows. In the shadows, going all the way back to MJ and Magic, going all the way back to DeWine Wagner, LeBron James, all the best players in the game, and his ability to be in the gauntlet, in the trenches with these kids and their families. I think those relationships will pay major dividends. Now, Jay, well, do you Wilson. think he, that that changes a little bit in terms of his role now, uh, in terms of being connected as as well as he used question. to be in the past? Because, I mean, look, I, obviously, I knew World Wide West when he was a student at Camden High School. We had Billy Culberson, who played for me at Pitt. Mm. Uh, he went to school with him, and Wes is a great dude, and he is connected. He's just likable. Uh, he understands it. He connects. His network is is as good as any. Uh, I think the interesting thing is we just heard that Kenny Payne is going to turn down DePaul uh, to stay with the Knicks, which kind of is kind of an interesting story because I thought Kenny might take that job. But uh, I, I think Wes will be an asset. Look, I mean, Wes knows people who knows people, which recruiting is all about, you know, it's like, it's like Hamilton in the room where, where it happens. Exactly. You've got to have someone in the room where it happens. No doubt about uh, it. Well, you've got to have someone to take all those ne- – you know, basically, when you recruit and you, in the room where it happens, you got to eliminate the negative voice. At worst, you got to eliminate the negative voice. If you can eliminate the negative voice, then you have a chance. If you can't eliminate the negative voice, you have no chance. So All I know is that Wes plays chess, not yep. checkers. Always. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Always. And, and, he, and he's a he great and Mike dude. Woodson, yeah, he is. And he and Mike Woodson have had a great relationship for a long time. So if anybody, you know, if you're going to lean on people to help you, he definitely has that network around him. We'll see if he has success there. But he's such a great guy. I wish Mike Woodson all the best. I know how much this job means to him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.